Hobos. It's a rock club in the centre of Bridgend, and the setting for National Theatre Wales' seventh production, Love Steals Us From Loneliness, which was written by Gary Owen and takes place, uh, certainly starts on a Saturday night out in Bridgend. The show is running from the 7th to 15th of October, and uh, we're having a little look at the place now. The designers were Neil Davis and Anna Marie Hainsworth, and they took inspiration for their transformation of Hobos from firstly the script and the story, uh, but also from the town of Bridgend itself, which has gone through quite a lot of uh, reurbanization and uh, modernization in the town centre. There's lots of concrete and uh, the concrete benches that you can see, which will be for the audience to sit on, uh, take their inspiration from the benches that are literally outside and around the corner from the club. Here's Anna Marie talking a little bit about the stage itself. Hi, my name's Anna Marie Hainsworth. I'm one of the designers on Love Steals Us from Loneliness for the National Theatre Wales. Um, what you're seeing is our one to one scale maquette of the set, which will be a concrete floor and um, metal hoops which will surround the actors. Um, we were really influenced by the artists Anthony Gormley and Cornelia Parker. And while we started looking at the themes of the strip, we came up on these ideas of kind of memory and grief and the relativity to time and how that's stretched and compressed for the characters throughout the play. We also started looking, particularly for me, for the um, motion of a and this idea that this kind of physical waves coming out from that as motion and also the idea of this story kind of enveloping the characters. Um, we also looked at the ideas of calligraphic writing, which is wet writing that doesn't actually say anything, and you can kind of put your own imprint of what you think it says on there, because we're looking at ideas of memorials. And then we use these ideas to kind of create an industrial, post-apocalyptic urban landscape, where we'll have these rods coming through the set, we'll reference kind of aerials and telegraph poles and pylons, and this kind of almost like barbed wire that isn't kind of surrounding the actors so they can't escape. Um, we deliberately left a certain amount of ambiguity in it so the audience can kind of see what they think of it and fill in the gaps for themselves. <laughs> 